All right, folks, here I am in the kitchen. I think you can probably see that steam. I've heated the electrolyte up on the stove. A lot of guys see that steam coming out of their electrolyzer, and they think that they've got magically making hydrogen steam. Obviously, this is not in the electrolyzer. It's just in a pot. It is 160 degrees F. I'm going to take it outside and dump it in my electrolyzer. All right, I'm outside again. Got my pail of hot electrolyte. It's 160 degrees F. You can see the steam coming off of it. A lot of you guys uh, mistakenly see that steam and say that's hydrogen. That's water vapor. So if your unit is steaming, that's water vapor. It's not hydrogen. Filling too much, it's not working very well. I just have to live with a certain amount of spillage, I guess. I turn the thing on. I'm letting uh, the water drain out of it, out of the bottom, hopefully to, to help heat that uh, the cell up quicker. This hot water flow through there. I ran this thing for hours and it would not heat up. have to add heat to it using engine coolant. Let's see what my temperature is here. Seem to be working to have that drain out and splashing stuff all over, so I'm going to close it off. Well, at least my temperature's going up now. It's up to 29C. After running it for hours, I couldn't get it above 20 degrees. See. Yesterday I ran it for six hours straight and the, it was cool outside and the temperature just continued to drop. So it started out at 18 degrees C and ended up at 15 degrees C. Still only 36 degrees C. All right, let me try to do a volume test. All right, I'm back. My camera card ran out of room. I had to go and empty it. All right, so I dumped in the electrolyte into this thing. It was 71 degrees C, or 160 degrees F. It brought the temperature up to 42 degrees C. It seems to have leveled off there. Um, so anyway, now it's drawn 9.5 amps. 
So it's pulling still about pretty close to 13 volts. Yeah, 13 volts, 9.5 amps, 42 degrees C. And we're going to get ready to do a test here. Um, I had this in my truck last night, running it off the battery and a battery charger. It was cool yesterday evening. I don't know exactly how cool, maybe 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The, um, of course, my gauge thermometer is all reading C. So it started out at 18 degrees C, and it, the cell gradually cooled off to 15. I never could get it to pull more than a few amps. Um, So I've, and also it was leaking like a sieve. So I pulled it out, put it on the bench, try to test it more thoroughly here. I did do an MMW test while I was in the truck last night, just barely pulling any amps. It was cold. Like I said, it was only at the time it was about 17 degrees C. And it showed an MMW of six, but I have not been able to reproduce that. All right, so we're getting up on the mark here. You can see the 1,000 peeking up out of the water. It's got to come up to the top of the, the rim of the jug. And there's a line off to the side. All right, so 120, oops, what did I do? 127.2 seconds. All right, I'll have to, I don't have any scratch paper on me, so I'll have to uh, calculate that and I'll add it to the, uh, the video as an annotation. Alright, so just to recap here, we're at 9.5, actually closer to 9.4 volts, I would guess, or 9.4 amps. Just shy of 13 volts, we'll call it 13. And you see the air did not heat up. Um, the HHO is only showing 16 degrees C. It's not hot. So I started adding, to keep keeping track of the temperature of the gases, because uh, you know, a lot of guys are measuring the hot gases coming out of their, their generators and it's blowing steam. Um, so, and also the gas expands with temperature. But if you're blowing steam out, you're measuring water vapor, you're not measuring hydrogen and oxygen. So just the, since it's cool out today and just running through this cool bubbler, it's cooled my gas is down to 16 degrees C. There's no moisture to amount to anything in there. I think eventually I will run it through a secondary large bubbler maybe with a coil and a water trap to make sure I'm not measuring water. Alright, that's it for now.